Alright, I'm in Premiere Pro. As of right now, I have each camera lined up on the corresponding track. So the first camera is on track one. All the footage is nudged up against the corner here at the very beginning of the timeline at zero, zero, zero. Um, that's an important step. Um, every once in a while, Pluralize will have trouble with very small clips. Like this one is only a few seconds long. So if they have a little bit of trouble with that, if they're like under five seconds, I'll delete them and then scoot everything over. But if they're over five seconds, I'll tend to leave them there and see what it can do. So the important part is basically having everything lined up against the corner and all of the cameras on different tracks. Um, basically, since the dance was about two over two hours of footage, I split it into two different groups to sync um, instead of feeding plural eyes over two hours of footage, which it can have a little bit of trouble with. So that way I cut it down to about um, an hour, hour and 22 minutes in each group. So uh, this clip here is the 15th um, item recorded that day from that camera. This one is the 28th. And you can see each ones are different lengths, like this clip is um, 14 minutes, whereas this first one is almost three minutes. So basically, once it's all set up, the important thing, have it nudged up against the corner, and each um, item is on a different track in the editor. So once I do that, I'll go to Window, Extensions, Pluralize, and I recently installed a new one, so... Um, I'm going to test that and maybe see if uh, you want to use it as well. So uh, you'll get a dialog box that pops up over here. And uh, I'll hit continue. And basically right now it's exporting um, an XML file to Pluralize, which kind of just gives it the information of all the files, where they're located on my computer, and uh, sends it over to Pluralize. And then once Pluralize pops open, you'll have to pick your sequence. So uh, I guess it's important to name them properly. Like this one is Dance 6415 1080p Part 2. And then you'll have to choose that sequence in Pluralize. So Dance 64 1080p Part 2. And that's the item we'll want to feed into Pluralize and sync it, uh, the sequence rather. Um, basically it'll pop up with a little tutorial and some window boxes um, they're pretty helpful but I've watched them a couple times already so I'll click out of them and um, right now you'll see in the bottom right hand corner it'll say preparing media so I think it's just kind of processing all of the audio waveforms and you'll see it over here preparing waveform and it'll go through each one and uh, kind of process all the footage and audio, which will take a minute. But really inside of Pluralize, the only thing to really do is wait for it to prepare the media. And then I go up here to the Sync tab, and I uncheck Correct Audio Drift. Then I uncheck, uncheck Level Audio. And then I check Try Really Hard. And after that, um, once it says Media Ready, I'll hit the sync button.